So I'm going to do a really quick video today on using a CSR 1000V inside of an, or as part of an EIGRP over the top configuration, just to show that it can be done. Uh, R1, R2, R3, and R4 are iOS Vs, and I'm trying to think what version of code they're on. I want to know it's a 15 dot something. I don't know if it's 15.3 or 15.4 and it's running 15.3, oh 15.4 right there. Okay so and uh, this is if you're not familiar with it this is Cisco's viral if you want to run some of these more advanced labs get a little more feature than you get in um, say GNS3 running 7200s or whatever so I'll get my console ports up real quick, and I'll diagram out kind of what we're going to do. Again, this is going to be a relatively short video, uh, just showing that we can do this with a CSR, um, and also kind of showing off viral a little bit. My console's up here. And this is a CSR 1000V, as the name might indicate, but you can see it's running iOS XE, and the code version is 13 or 3.13. So we'll go back to our drawing real quick. Um, R1 and R2 aren't going to be participating in EIGRP, OTP. They're just part of the RIP domain um, and providing reachability for our LISP tunnels. Our LISP tunnels are going to form like this. Get our connections up there. And our EIGRP domain is going to look something like this. Skips R2. Awesome. And that'll be our EIGRP domain right there. So without further ado, I'll just jump in and configure this really quick. We'll do our spokes first. And get all my consoles up. So there's our CSR. R3 and R4 will be our spokes. Again, we can do a quick show IP route. You can see that RIP is um, providing connectivity between all these devices. And we'll do a show run on gig 2. You can see that the IP address for our EIGRP OTP hub is going to be 172.16.0.2. So we'll go into global config, EIGRP. We'll name the instance OTP. Go address family IPv4, unicast, autonomous system 100. And then we're going to do on the spokes, we'll say neighbor 172.16.0.2. The outbound interface is gig01. It's a remote neighbor. Uh, we'll say it's 10 hops away, it's really only like two. Um, and it's lisp and cap. And then we'll advertise all networks. All three of these devices have a loop back in the 192.168 range that we'll use for reachability testing. And make sure that we're receiving EIGRP prefixes. But we'll advertise all networks. We'll toss that in on R3 and on R4. And CSR is going to start seeing some EIGRP messages. Um, actually, no, it won't because it's not running the EIGRP process. But if you were running EIGRP and you didn't have um, OTP set up yet, you'd start seeing some of those Lisp errors. Actually, I'll do that now. So you'll start seeing some EIGRP messages come in because we're receiving these Lisp encapsulated um, packets for EIGRP, and this router won't know what to do with it. There we go. It's like, is it going to do it? All right, so now we'll say remote neighbors. The source interface is gig2. They are going to be unicast and lisp encapsulated. We'll see our neighbors come up. There we go. We show IP EIGRP neighbor. Show IP EIGRP neighbor. We'll do a show IP route EIGRP. You can see we can get to the CSR's loopback just fine. Now we're not seeing the loopbacks for R3 or R4 because we have to configure the EIGRP hub as a route reflector. 
So we'll do that really quick. Go back to global config, router, EIGRP, OTP, address family, IPv4, unicast, autonomous system 100. The AF interface or address family interface is gig2. We'll say no split horizon and no next top self. And we'll wait for EIGRP to do a resync, which looks like it just did. We'll do show IP route EIGRP. Got our EIGRP routes. We can get to router 4's loopback, so we'll test that. We'll source from our loopback 0. And boom! So that's using a CSR as a EIGRP OTP hub. And then we have iOS V as our spokes. And this is all done inside of Cisco's Viral. Um, ignore the VM Maestro, that's just the, the GUI to access Viral. Um, if you want to buy Viral, I highly recommend it. Um, it beats the heck out of trying to track down uh, the illegal copies of Cisco's iOS on Linux. Um, and I think it's $150. The site will say that it's $199, but there's like a $50 coupon. At least there was when I bought it like a month or two ago. It drops down to $150. Um, the other thing that I'll caution you is um, I'm running... I want to say, I'm running whatever the, the previous version of Viral was. I should have had it lined up before I started recording the video, but I don't really care. Um, I'm running the previous version of Viral. I did an in-place upgrade um, two days ago to the latest version of code, and you'll know that you have the latest version of code if your Maestro version is, I think, 1.2, and it's like dev 128. You'll notice I'm on like dev 91 right now. Um, when I upgraded to the latest version of Viral, OTP did not work. Lisp packets didn't pass at all, and I thought I was losing my mind. Luckily, I did a snapshot of my virtual machine. I reverted back to the old version of Viral. OTP seems to work fine there. So there's something on the latest version of Viral where I, I couldn't get Lisp to pass. It might have been my configuration, but just something to caution you again. So if you buy it and it doesn't work out of the box and you can't get OTP working, um, before you pull your hair out, that might be your problem. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll try and get some more content out later next weekend.